Take a look at this video. Black smoke billowing out of the building. It started around 11.30 this morning. Debbie Griffin with the city of Bentonville tells us the fire started outside of United Industries. Here's where the company's located, 1900 East Central Avenue in Bentonville. And that's where we find KNWA's Jennifer Pinate. Jennifer, what have you learned about the fire so far? Chad, like you said, the fire started at 11.30 this morning here at United Industries in Bentonville. Let me get out of the way. You are looking at the back of the building here. Some of it scorched. This is a family-owned company that makes foam products and employs around 140 people. The Bentonville deputy fire chief tells us all of them are okay. None of them were hurt. He also says that the fire started outside where the company keeps pallets and tanks. Now, they are keeping a very close eye on those tanks and other highly flammable products to make sure things don't get any worse. Dark plumes of smoke billowed through the air Wednesday morning in Bentonville. The source, a massive fire at United Industries manufacturing plant. Fire crews have it under control, but a danger looms. They had a 35,000 gallon uh, highly flammable tank of difluoroethane. Uh, that would create a rather large explosion. Spotted by Fire Chief Kevin Boydston from the sky. All thanks to a training company the department was meeting with this morning, which let them use drones to check out the fire. And they were able to give us uh, contact meter readings. Helping keep the tank from reaching 125 degrees. It reached a max of 95 degrees before the fire department cooled it down. Crews are still watching the tank to avoid tragedy and also monitoring a vertical tank filled with polystyrene beads. Now when those burn, especially at a high temperature in a large fire, the bulk of what they put off is carbon monoxide. The harmful chemical could mean health problems for anyone exposed to the smoke. If you stay away from the area, the fire chief says you'll be okay. And he also tells us that fire crews will be out here for the next several hours checking up on stuff, making sure that everything remains contained. Another agency out here, of course, is the Bentonville Police Department. They've been taking care of traffic around here, making sure that people that don't need to be in the area stay out of the area around the business. And to tell us more about that, I want to bring in KNWA's Lauren Craighall, who spoke to the Bentonville Police Department earlier. And what is situation so far. Well, Jennifer, we were told that crews from Bentonville, Rogers, and Bella Vista Fire Department were all out here since 1130 this morning trying to put this fire out. According to Bentonville Deputy Fire Chief Kevin Boydston, the fire is about 90 percent out, which means the roads near United Industries will be closed for cleanup. Martin Luther King and a portion of Fifth Street will be closed for the rest of the night and could potentially be closed tomorrow during the investigation. Chief Boydston says it's very important to make sure you don't try and use these blocked off roads. And now is not a good time to try and be curious and try and figure out a way to get in and around uh, because, you know, our personnel are still going to be working. Uh, there's still a lot of hazards. There's weak power lines. There's weak utility poles. Things have been affected by the fire. I think he'll zoom in. Yeah, and then to a one shot. Crews will be out cleaning up the area for at least a couple more hours. Tune in to KNWA News tonight at 6 to hear more from the chief about what happened and what the plan is moving forward. Reporting live in Bentonville, Lauren Craycall. Back to you, Jennifer. All right, Lauren, thank you so much. And, of course, the fire and police departments are just some of those first responders that are here. Another agency is the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality. They are here on the ground testing the air quality to make sure it is not dangerous for anyone. And Mercy Hospital and Northwest Health are on standby in case anyone shows up with respiratory issues. Well, we spoke to the CEO of this company who, as you can imagine, is shocked at what happened today. And our Kelly O'Neill spoke with him just moments ago about what happened to his company. Kelly, what did he tell you? 
Yeah, John, it could take anywhere from a couple of days to up to six weeks to get this facility back up and running. But the CEO, Mark Firm, tells me that despite all of this, his employees will continue to get paid. Now, he told me just moments ago that the fire started in the back of the lot where styrofoam products are made for display boards that are sold in retailers nationally, and they're very flammable. Because styrofoam is plastic, Firm says that's why the smoke was black. He wasn't able to get inside the building just yet, but says he did have a meeting with his employees as soon as he could. I had a meeting, in fact, just right over this corner uh, with all of our employees within 30 minutes and said, guys, girls, uh, you may not be working for the next week or two, but you're going to keep getting paid. And uh, so we're, uh, it was a, you know, horrible accident. Thank God no one got hurt. United Industries manufactures a lam uh, laminated product used for permanent signage in stores. Like Jen was saying, it's a family-owned business that was created in 1980. And Firm says his employees do yearly and bi-yearly fire drills. They're also trained to use fire extinguishers. He's just glad everyone was okay and followed proper protocol by exiting the building immediately. Now, I'm standing where some of the employees were waiting as they got the okay to get their car so they could drive home. Across the street here is the Walmart MLK building. They were also evacuated. And coming up tonight at KNWA News at 6, hear from an employee about what they saw from outside the window. Reporting live in Bentonville, Jennifer, sending it back to you. All right, Kelly, thank you very much for that report. And you saw the video, you saw the pictures, that smoke, very dark, very heavy, shocking. A lot of people here in Bentonville, but not just in the area close to the plant, also in cities like Gravid and Fayetteville, that smoke through the air across the region. And to tell us more about that, let's bring in our chief meteorologist, Dan Scoff. Dan.